Friday night is Derby night at the Liberty Stadium when the Ospreys face Cardiff Blues in the Guinness Pro 12. Join us now to look ahead to the game with Ben John and Alan Wynne-Jones. Ben, disappointing outcome in Belfast on Saturday, but final minute aside and outcome of the scoreboard aside, there was a lot to be happy about in what went on in the game. Yeah, at the end of the game, losing like that, uh, last couple of minutes of the game, but uh, yeah, we can take out of it. We can take a lot out of it. Actually, our defence was uh, was pretty solid. Um, one of the things we've been working on the summer is just that uh, front line and making sure we make dominant tackles, and I think that came through quite well through uh, through that game. Just in the press conference with Brad Davis just now, he said it was the best defensive performance since he's been here. There was that particular spell as well, either side of the hour mark. It was just relentless defence, pushing Ulster back. So it's disappointing sometimes to put so much effort into it and only have to make do with a point. Yeah, um, yeah, it's good to defend like that, but we need to do that in attack now. Um, just get that balance right. Uh, we started the season well in attack, and um, if we can get that and our defence as, as well as um, as well as Saturday, I think we can we can go a long way. That's another difficult challenge this weekend. We've got Cardiff Blues at the Liberty Stadium. They've made a flying start to the season, sitting above us on the table. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, they're the informed side in the Welsh rugby, so uh, it'd be nice to. Uh, and obviously, as well as Derby as well, so it'd be good to uh, have that extra bit of spice to uh, Friday. And uh, it should be a should be a very good game. A big crowd, some good matchups right across the pitch. It's going to be a big occasion. Yeah, yeah, massive. Hopefully, hopefully we get a full crowd there. That's what we need. Um, just to give us that extra bit of voice and. Uh, in the game in Ulster the weekend they had a full crowd there and it just made made a hell of a difference I think that sometimes goes unsaid but when those tough moments on Saturday night when Ulster were backs against the wall the crowd lifted them and you could see it visibly helping the team so we want more, more of that at the Liberty yeah definitely that makes a hell of a difference um, you probably don't know as a fan but that, that does make that extra bit of difference having that 16 player really just getting behind you and boosting you up so uh, that would be great if, uh, if we do get a full crowd on a personal level, you're playing regularly, in good form. You must be enjoying yourself this season so far. Yeah, really, really enjoying it. Actually, this um, this last couple of games, it's uh, it's nice to be playing in my position as well. So uh, I'm playing well, as you said. So just trying to keep that up, keep that consistency to see up. So um, and just keep going from there. This week sees Operation Bang arrive at the Ozone ahead of the Blues match. South Wales Police and the Fire Service are coming down to give demonstrations with their police fans, fire engines and equipment. So make sure you come down to the Ozone in the South Stand from 5.35pm on Friday to get involved. With hospitality for Friday night's game against the Blues now completely sold out, you need to book now to avoid disappointment for our first European fixture of the season against Newcastle Falcons on Friday the 14th of October. Why not make a night of it with an all-inclusive drinks package in the new OSTCFX suite for just £129 per person, plus fat? Or join like-minded fans in one of our private hospitality box shares. That's priced at just £79 per person, plus fat. For more details, or to book your place, call the hospitality team now on 01792 or email hospitality at ospreysrugby.com. Half-term will soon be with us, so why not book your child now onto one of Ospreys in the community half-term kids camps. With one day and three day courses for 6 to 12 year olds at Landarcy and South Gower RFC and a senior camp for 13 to 17 year olds at Landarcy, we really do have something for everyone. For more details, call the community team on 01792 616 or email community at ospreysrugby.com. The new range of Ospreys leisure wear and accessories are now in store at the club shop. Whether you're looking for a new scarf, an Aussie cushion or even an Ospreys chocolate bar, we have what you need in store. Head online to shop.ospreysrugby.com now or visit the club shop at the Liberty Stadium to pick up your merchandise. Tagfest 3 has come in on Saturday the 29th of October at Brinkhawk RFC ahead of the Ospreys v Dragons Pro 12 match. Why not bring your team along to enjoy a full day of rugby competing against other teams from the region and then visiting the Liberty Stadium to watch the Ospreys play the Dragons in a crunch Pro 12 game. For more details, call the community team on 01792 616512 or email community at ospreysrugby.com.
Halloween. We sat here two days after the Ulster match. Disappointed outcome of the game, particularly after such an enormous effort. What's the verdict? Yeah, I think we're, we're very unhappy with the um, the result. I think uh, we can take solace from the manner of the the display in D and attack either side of the ball. I think you know we, we probably did enough at times um, to get into the attacking third into the 22. We just didn't keep it. But like I say, we'll take heart from uh, the performance we showed either side of the ball. We just um, you know, didn't finish it off. And the last couple of games we, we felt uh, pretty similar. Really, we had a poor start. In Leinster, we, we rectified it in the weekend, just gone. But we've, we've let a few points slip, um, which you know we're not satisfied about. To use the old cliche, a season is a marathon, not a sprint. We're five games in, in a pretty healthy position, but now it's time to have to kick on with these two Pro 12 Welsh derbies, the next two league games that we've got. And now we, we've got a bit of a mixed bag. We need we, we need to get back to winning ways, and you know we've got an opportunity to do that against a strong Cardiff team on uh, Friday. Do you look at it that we've in the first month of the season? We've been to Ireland three times and we got the one win, but we've got six points, which is five more than we had from those fixtures last year. Do you take that into account when you evaluate how things are gone? Uh, we, we could do if we felt our performances deserved that, but we probably feel our, our performances on the whole deserve more. Um, you know, I'm not saying we should have won the Leinster game. We felt we could have, have definitely snuck um, a losing bonus point or got within, within seven. Um, but then the Elster game, you know, the, the dominance we showed in certain part of the games deserved more. Um, we're not we're not happy with the point. We, you know, it was down to us, um, and we feel we can do more and get the points in those arm wrestle games uh, like the weekend. And as you say, things are moving on. Big games coming thick and fast. Cardiff Blues at the Liberty Stadium on Friday. We saw in Belfast the weekend the difference a big, passionate crowd can make, especially when it go and gets tough. You'd like to think of more of the same this weekend at the Liberty? Yeah, very much so. I think um, both. Both teams are trying to play a bit of rugby and it should be hopefully uh, an entertaining spectacle. I'll probably jinx it saying that, but we know in the past they can go one of two ways. They can either, again be an arm wrestle affair or you know, the, a lot of rugby we've played. I think um, you look at the way both teams are playing, that has you know, probably more potential for that to happen. Um, and hopefully there'll be a lot of people in black in the stands um, supporting us. We know the hardcore will be there, but hopefully there'll be a, a few uh, new black jerseys and. Uh, supporters that want to come and, uh, and see us into the season. That's all for now. Don't forget the tickets for this game are in demand, so make sure you buy yours in advance. You can buy it at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets or in person at the Liberty Stadium ticket office. Make sure you get yours and support the cause.